Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody you know okay. Hope everybody you know all right. It's Monday. Today is the perfect opportunity to thank God because regardless of your circumstances, we are alive. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Big up everybody who live for see yet another Monday, the last Monday of this month called February. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead. Every day above ground is a blessing. Oh no, no, we now stop saying that. We can jump in on the news right now. Detective from St. Andrew's South Police Division has arrested and charged 32 year old Anthony Fisher, a carpenter of John's Lane, downtown Kingston, with conspiracy to commit murder, wounded with intent, illegal possession of firearm, illegal possession of ammunition, following an incident in St. Andrew on Saturday, January 22nd. The allegations are that at about 10 30 pm, the victim was opening his business place when he was approached by a lone gunman who was harmed with a firearm. The man opened gunfire, hitting the businessman multiple times to the upper body. The injured man ran to avoid further injury and collapse further along the roadway. He was taken to the hospital where he was admitted in serious condition. The car that was used in the attack was later trapped and Fisher was found in the vehicle that was identified to have been at the scene of the crime. He was arrested and his cell phone was seized and sent to the communication forensic and cyber division of the police force for analysis which uncover confidential material on the device plotting the attack on the victim. Hold on the man. The time will not take one a send go a different division. Oh no, she not send body go lay down pan ice police to the not here. Me tell you not slap one of the starts to the person boy and stop. Wait. Fisher was charged following a question and answer session and an interview with investigators. The court date is being finalized and don't need to worry. Me go keep on the post upon this one about this one boy. She not get slapped with. So not I said that I mean not I said. And me not take it back. The police them still a waste time. The police has charged a man for the gun attack result in the death of 50 year old Orville Squire last December along Victoria Avenue in Kingston 16. Yes, paper Squire, also called Indian of McQueen Street in Kingston, was standing along the roadway on Tuesday, December 28, 2021, when a motorbike drove up. A man aboard the motorbike opened gunfire, hitting Squire in the head. Yes, yes, people don't know remember this. I knew that coming, tell you no. And I remember this in a paper, and everybody who gets shot in the head live like 50 cents. Anyway, we can continue this news. The police are following an investigation. 20 year old Tariq Odile Phillips, otherwise called Just Boss, who should I get slapped with, was apprehended on Thursday, February 10th during an operation. He was later placed on the identification parade where he was positively identified as the shooter. He was subsequently charged on Saturday, February 19th with murder, illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. His court date is being finalized and finally we should have planned people. We should not plan them funeral. Hold on a bit then now. Cause some little girl missing. Yes, some little girl look at them. Run out of the home and go on a man yard. Who don't know me talking as it is. And as it might be already. Three one of the state has gone missing. The trio all age 15 reportedly went missing on Friday from the Granville Child Care Facility in Trelawney. The authority has since issued an, an under alert for them. They are Tishana Carr, Rake Duncan, Onika Bryan. The Falmer police said the three girls were last seen at the facility at about 8.30 p.m. on Friday. Make I tell you something, people. Yes, I look a picnic, bad them bad. One bad apple spoiled the whole bunch. I'm on here, them gone. At the time they went missing, Tishana was dressed in a red blouse and a brown shorts. Rakaya was dressed in a red t-shirt and a blue shorts. And Onika was dressed in a red t-shirt and a red shorts. Holland, oh, the favorite color. You understand? All effort to locate them have proven futile. Anyone know the whereabouts of these three wards of the state have been asked to contact the Falmouth Police at 954-3222 or 119. I just tell the nearest police station, which part them there? Hold on, they know I see them a little nasty people. I don't like them. Them call themselves. Them call themselves stand up Jamaica. I talk about them concerned with all of the police shooting and killing since 2022. Hold on, they. Who no concerned them police are the daft. You see all people like Uno. 
need to get slapped with. Hold on, now people can tell the news. Stand Up Jamaica has expressed deep concern regarding what they say is an alarming data from Indicom, highlighting the number of fatal shootings involving police since the start of 2022. According to stats provided by Indicom, there have been 19 fatal shootings by the police since the start of the year, four of which involve vulnerable persons. There is no such thing. There is no such thing. No for we get shot a criminal. Said what I said, I mean what I said, and me not take you back. In a statement on Sunday, yes, in a statement on Sunday, stand up for Jamaica. Or should I say, when another little entity will come out for back criminal, said they reflect the failure of the security force who lack the proper training in how to approach various circumstances. We are again driving the call for a better option to fight crime. The interaction between the members of a security force, the mentally ill, the citizens, especially those in the inner city, has worsened. We are again calling on the authority to place more emphasis on community-based training for officers. That is what the organization said. It said the culture of the force has infringed upon the rights of the lives of Jamaicans. It further expressed satisfaction that Indicom is renew the call for various recommendations such as the use of non-lethal option and the use of body-worn cameras. Stand up for Jamaica so them call themselves encourage those recommendations as they will strengthen our system to give justice and ensure accountability. The agency added that there needs to be a different approach in fighting crime. We are waiting to see a plan to address the deep-rooted problem. We have to provide more opportunities and job opportunities to keep our people engaged. We believe this is one of the biggest deterrent to crime. Hold on a bit, they know me address you. Yes, me and address you because they know me just talk to you not as it might be. Uno must have in the coming up. Because one thing alone, uno in the coming deal with. And I feel back criminal elements. Let me tell you this now. Me know how uno get slapped with. You see little people that me lie down on the bedside and people in the house. And then me want criminal slap with them. You see where uno can come come say. People, let me tell you this, because I see exactly what I go on. The reason, you see them come out and about them family members like that. Yes, that is what I said. The criminal them are them family members, but all on in the people, the tables are gonna turn upon them. One of these days, you know. And guess what? We are gonna ask this enough for them dead off. We just gonna talk about them because I tell them back in criminal elements them. You know how much bullets get shot since the start of the year. You understand? Some of them are killed this make them get shot. So the look officer the last seat on there go up, bum them shot him off of the bike. Me no soon come out and attack about it. But you know I come out and attack about amount of people with police kill and the amount of shooting the police in a, since the start of the year. Better no whole one can and go sit down, you know. Better no whole one can and go sit down. Uno and in the come. You understand? And tell the local family members, say, anytime police walk them and run, ice them and go pan. Said what I said, that I mean what I said. And me not take it back, people. Me have something for the year. I want big up yourself, my view. Remember the local situation with the lady who then killing her Dunkirk pertaining to his trap. She was a witness to a murder that take place a couple of years back. People need to remember I said I've run gun and I tent early again. The curfew extend, some more information may get coming right from out of Dunkirk. We know the people that wonder why the woman dead. We have all the information right us about all on the man. We now put it in this review, we'll put it in the next review. So just kick back and wait for the review. And I tell some people, say, watch out, man. My if you go tell me really, I'll go on with a dunker. Yes, people. We have the one, one, one. You understand? Yes, one, one, one. Yes, that we have. We are telling you right now. So just kick back and wait for it. Okay?